It's Cadden. Great ball forward for Magidi. Nisbet in the middle. Campbell and Yuan arriving. Can Magidi supply the cross? Oh, it comes off the post. Campbell so unlucky to what would have been a spectacular opener in the derby. Oh, it's a brilliant play all around, isn't it? First of all, the pass from Chris Cadden, just down the outside of Alex Cochran. I have to say, his recovery run wasn't good at all, but suddenly 1v1 in a wide area. Ian McGeady, all he needs is one yard. He just needs to move the ball. Josh Campbell, his role, he has to get up beside Nisbet. He has to run in behind. Really unfortunate. Lovely little Croy flick, but the atmosphere from the home fans is really building. That's Snodgrass to take. Left-footed, caused some confusion and come out and struck by Josh Shinelli. Hearts are on such a high right now. They may have been on the back foot for the opening 10 minutes, but it's Josh Ginelli who strikes the visitors in front in the Edinburgh derby. It's a wonderful strike, Rory, but it comes from the delivery, the panic that it causes... They can't clear their lines. You look at the ball that comes. Alex Cochran that gets on it initially. And it just causes panic. Hibs can't clear it. And that's a great finish. It really is. Ginelli right on point to smash into the back of the net. But look at that. Hibs can't clear it. Under pressure. Ginelli back of the net. 1-0. Nisbet wins it for Yuan. Finds a gap through to McGeady. Aidan McGeady trying to work some of his magic and draws a fine save from Xander Clark. Well, very encouraging for Hibs as well, because you can see it's worked on in terms of allowing Rogues to be on the ball, put them in an area where you can close them down and win it, and then they counter quickly. With McGeady wrapping round the outside, Hibs looking to go from one end to the other. McGeady, he's got Campbell at the back post! And he just can't quite guide it back on target. He was backpedalling. And he just finds the side netting. He just felt he was going to put the ball in the back of the net. But look at Aidan McGeady rolling back the years, travelling with the ball. You know he always wants back in that favoured right foot. You've got to say, it's a delightful cross into the box. I just wonder, could Josh Campbell have tried to go back across goal? Maybe he is. Maybe he's on his way down as the ball's at him. Cochrane. All the way back to Smith. And it's Marshall that gets across to make the save to deny the Northern Irishman. Yeah, it's good play from Hearts in that left, and Alex Cochran picks him out brilliantly. It's a very open spell. Shankland running at Jago. Still Shankland, and it's straight at David Marshall. Makes it again, Yuan. Cochran for company. Yuan twisting and turning, gets the shot away, but never got the power or the connection behind it. Look, he hits the target again, but it's easy for Xander Clark. I just thought on a couple of occasions, you saw the danger when he got to the byline. Go and hit the byline. He's chopping back again on his left. It's not his strongest foot either. I just think, hit the byline. Make it simple. Campbell now. Still the search goes on for... The Bernians equaliser. It's Cadden bypasses one. Still Cadden. And Clark had to parry it away. Hill again, though. Guided away by Campbell. Yuan. Devlin with the tackle. It was legal. Shankland. Shiri away. Lawrence Shankland again. Humphreys, back to Shankland! Oh, oh that might just do it! Lawrence Shankland! The record goal for Hart's main man! It gives them a 2-0 lead! And might that be the one that sends Hearts through to the next round and delivers some misery to their great rivals! That is absolutely top draw stuff from Lon Shanklin. He's the captain, he's the main man, and he's come up with a huge moment. It's a wonderful one too. The bounce off from Humphreys 
off the knee, off the right foot, in the bottom corner. And David Marshall's got no chance, but he knows what he's wanting to do here. He's wanting to cut back in field. You can see Humphreys there, the little bounce pass. And that is a sensational finish, it really is. You know, I said a minute or two ago, it was up to Hibs to try to change the dynamic of the game. They're not capable of doing it, and Hearts have just punished them. There's no way back for Hibs now. I think there was only one outcome. The minute Lawrence Shang then gets himself into the box and he gets a side of goal, there's only one outcome in the game. Civic wins it, Devlin, and might just leave Hibs a little vulnerable at the back. Civic still going. And still, it's Civic! What a hit! Shanklin coming in, and Rocky Bashiri with a vital intervention to save it going three for the second time in three weeks. That really would have been rubbing salt into the wind. It had been going 3 0 down. Great play from Toby Civic. Driving forward. And I tell you, it's a perfect strike across the goalkeeper because it then means that there's a chance for Shankman to follow it up. Bashiri does well in the end there. He's completely transformed, Michael, isn't he? Considering where he was. And the Hearts fans weren't convinced. But over the last few months, he really has turned things around. Strong mentality. Humphreys, Bashiri. He was caught by Shankland, who has already been booked. It's a second yellow and a red card for the Hearts captain. And Bashiri jumps up there. I mean, that for me is a nonsense. I just think it's a nonsense. I thought the first yellow card was, was no need either. I thought a quiet word to the two players... But this one for me, Bashiri falls down and he bounces straight back up. I'm just going for the ball, the two players. That for me is not a yellow card, personally. And McCurdy, plenty in the box for Hibbs. It is McCurdy. Bashiri is in there battling. Campbell did well. Yuan, Yuan's effort comes off the woodwork and it just has not been hip stay. Yeah, it's the second time in the game they've hit the post. Just know when it's not going your way, nothing's falling for you. A goal at this time would have just given them a little bit of a lifeline, but. The needs are up the other end. It's Chabria, the box is so full. Now. Hibbs could well be exposed. Humphreys, Sibic, he's gone all the way from his own box. Toby Sibic! Oh, oh, what a finish from Sibic! These are the days that hearts crave, the moments that they live for, and the sunset on Leith tonight will be a shade of deep maroon. Hibernian nil, heart of Midlothian three, and it is the perfect Sunday for those from Gorgie. Well, I think that just sums it up for me. He's been the best player on the pitch, and he's got a goal for his rewards. Just look at his energy and his appetite deep in the injury time. He's not just accepting the player the ball, he wants to go and join in. But don't take away from the composure. You know, as a central defender, up against David Marshall, he just lifts the ball nonchalantly over the top of him and rounds off a wonderful afternoon for Hearts. They've been strong, they've been resolute, they've been organised, but they've been ruthless, they've had that killer instinct. And when the chances have arrived, they've absolutely delivered. It's Heart of Midlothian's day. It's their city, and they have got Hibernian's number once again. And there's no doubt about the hero of the afternoon. It's Toby Sibic. What a performance he put in at the back, and he topped it off with a wonderful goal from one end of the pitch to the other. That rounded off the third. It's back to back. 3-0 wins in the space of three weeks for Hearts against their old rivals. They will go on in the Scottish Cup into the fifth round. And what an afternoon for Toby Civic and Hearts of Midlothian.
the final score at Easter Road. Hibernian nil, Heart of Midlothian three.